Hello and welcome back to Kitty Place The Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. I could also just say Kitty Place Morrowind, right? I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be the host for this episode. Yes, I'm not pre I'm not post-recording these or pre-recording these, so I might actually be a bit confused while talking. <laughs> yeah, last time we killed our first two outlaw scum and looted them. And I'm pretty sure how this will go. I know that there's one more. The shield doesn't work anymore. Oh no, I, I didn't cast it right. Right now I'm just hoping that we find a bedroll soon. It's the end of you, sweat. You end Not enough magicka. Let's use our weapon then instead. Which we already know is rather powerful. So what do you have? Probe, a lock pig, a pair of pants. Maybe that one is better than ours. <clears throat> oh, I need to look at her to continue looting. Well, nothing of interest. Yep. This game contains nudity due to a patch. Or a mod, rather, which is the Better Buddies mod. I have... I just took some stuff out of here, which I'm going to show you. I actually found some drugs here. Mm, this is Moon Sugar. Sugar. It's a drug commonly used by... Well, Kashid like me, actually. 45 speed. And a spear. I really hope that we find something to some place to sleep. I don't have a potion for recharging magicka. Let's check out the pants that we found. That one is boring. Basically, I'm going to check out one which uh, that one looks way better. Yep. Let's keep wearing that one. Can I also wear a shirt? Hmm. You don't see it anyway, and it doesn't look that great, so, no. Let's see... Okay, this is a gate which we can unlock with the key that we found. Let's see what we'll find here. Oh, okay. Some watery place. Indicator. What's something down here? Maybe this is. You know, it's a rising force potion for levitation. I'm more hoping for something to regenerate our magicka. Or a bed. That would be good. Oh, a rat. I said bad, not a rat. Anywho, mm, tasty rat meat. Two violet caprinuses. And some money. Let's drop a little quick save and head on to check. Slowly head on to check if we can maybe find a place where we can sleep. There's another pauldron. It seems like one of these people has been killed by the local wildlife because we keep finding pieces of their armor and um, bones. Safe often. Ah, 
now we're back at the entrance. That was that part, and then there is... We can also take the torches with us, I just remembered. I'm just going to take the torches here. Let me have a little sip of coke. And there we go. There's someone drowned here. Let's see, they have a fishing pole, a basket, gold, and an iron saber. That's kind of weird. And they have bone meal. We want that. Oh, we are drowning. Quick, let's get above, above the water so the surface. There's nothing but this chest here. I'm currently trying to figure out how to get there because the uh, collision here is a bit uh, weird. Let's just get everything. What is this? Restore intelligence. Too bad. I'm looking for restore magicka. And let's get out of here. So we just saw everything here. No, I'm not going to loot all the clothing from all the people. I did this when I played it uh, previously. When I, uh, in the original playthrough back when I had it, I just always took everything from everyone. But I'm going to take the torches. Well, you can stay here if you want. I'm going to go back to town. And you're free to come with me. So, that was our first little adventure. And now let's sell the spoils. Again, we're heading back to... I think we're a bit slower because we have lots of stuff in our inventory. If you see this, this bar shows how much encumbrance we have. So we carry 164 weight units of the 200 we can carry. Okay, the bridge usually is blocked by people, so I'm going to go through the river. Because really this is a nuisance. I'm going to come through here. A um, little bit of orienting. This is where we want to go. Let's do some more trading with our good friend. Barter. Oh, you will have to get rid of that moon sugar if you want services you from me. Please. Share your thoughts. Well, then let's drop it just on the floor. And we have skooma. Skooma is refined moon sugar. Which we will be able to create. Here we go. Nope. I don't want to persuade, persuade him. I want to trade with him. Okay, so we have lots of stuff that we don't need. That just weighs us down. And as you can see, even the buckets were very heavy. We don't need torches. We're a kitty cat. These we're going to use later on. All the ingredients. Levitate, restore intelligence. Expensive shoes, interesting, but honestly, I'm going to put on the expensive shoes. I'm going to sell the boots. I'm going to sell the armor. I'm going to go unarmored. I'm going to play a full on mage. No armor. So I'm going to wear the expensive shoes, but not these pants. A belt. 
Let's see how that will look. And a common ring which we can sell. Okay. Let's see if he gives us 150 gold. No, 140. No, 35. No, 30. Yes. As you saw from the refused offers, the amount of how much he likes us has gone down. Okay, so now we have a lot of gold and I still don't understand how I can get into his bed. Or the one that he sells. Now look at this. Nice. I think the sun is going down, isn't it? Looks really nice. Well, if you can't sleep, let's go and head to Belmora. Make it quick, Outlander. Luckily, there are signposts guiding the way. There, here it says Bulmora. And as I said, I'm not going to use the Silt Strider. I'm going to use that the second time when I go over because we want to see the scenery. Even though the 3D models haven't aged that well. This is the cave we just cleared out. And let's see. The majestic Seal Strider. Goodbye, Sedanin. Let's head over to Belmora. What does this say? Ebenhard this way. Sedanin, Gnarmok, and Hula Ode the other way, and we want to head towards Belmora, Vivek, and Pelagiad. There we go, through the mountain range. Belmora that way. So let's head that way. There's lots of walking we will do. Yeah, so I need to think of lots of things that I can talk about, I guess. Let's pick up the willow. So I still don't know fully what I want to do. Basically, it feels like I want to do everything at once. But yeah, it's... Um, Uh, I definitely want to um, join the Mages Guild and learn alchemy and, uh, as I said, destruction and restoration spells because I want to be able to fight with magic I'm pretty well. I want to have high magicka, so I need to train for that. Or enchant things. What's over there? Oh, that's a big beast. Let's not come too close to it. And there is a little, a little town there. Let's see what this town is. Ah, this is Pelagiad. Well, maybe we can sleep here. It is already dark. Stars are out. Sun is nearly gone down. I actually have to say. The starry sky looks really nice. So let's head into here. I think this is the tavern, yes, halfway tavern. I guess it's called halfway tavern because it's halfway to Balmora. And let's try and if get I can help, I will, to but don't take too much time. Beds, thank you. Tangles for the rest of the day, yes. At the end of the hall upstairs. 
upstairs, not downstairs. She's looking kind of weird with these eyes. Permitted. This is our room. Ah, uh, it's nice to have a bed. So mm, let's rest <sighs> until healed. Well, no, yeah, until healed. Let's see what time it is. It is 6 a.m. Perfect time for getting up. Hello there, Lady Flerugius. Hmm, she offers training? No. Okay, I need to be a member of something. Oh, hello. Hold this up, will you? Where is that slave? It suffers wounds. Uh, no, I'm not suffering wounds, but I'm glad to see you. A fellow Khajiiti who's not a slave. <laughs> when Anasi sees... <clears throat> when Anasi sees smooth moves like this, Anasi thinks a dancer, no? A high wall walker? If you aren't in the thief skill suite, perhaps you should be. Smooth moves. Is she advancing on us? How can Anasi not see? Must she be blind? She sees you walk and she likes what she sees. It's in her profession to see such things as the flow of the body and the grace of the eye and admire. Oh, flattering. Well, no, I'm actually not in the Thieves' Guild. Perhaps I should be, but not now. But maybe you can introduce me there, if you know what I mean. Speak, traveler. Ah, let me get out of here. Let me see who else is there. Just, just reading the greetings really quick and checking if they have some services. But I don't think they will. Barter, what do we have to offer? Restore health sounds good. And I'm going to give you the booze, to be honest. And I don't think I like levitation also. So if you don't barter, they like you again after a while. Like you more after a while. <laughs> what? Yakum? Me? Speak Ashland. Not speak so good, old elf. Sorry. What was that? The wine cellar. Now we could steal something from here, but I don't want to. I actually don't don't really want to play a thief. Mainly because this is what I've played all the time. Oh, a supply shop. Maybe I can get some magicka potions here. I direly need them. What do you have to offer? Oh, mostly weapons and... Oh, now look, this rope could... This red rope could actually look pretty good. And an expensive shirt for going under it. Yes. And some expensive pants, maybe the bright ones. Yes, that sounds pretty good, thank you. What kind of shoes do we own? Actually, this style. Perfect. Well, that's nice. And do you also have an expensive belt to go with these? And maybe some, some gloves? No, he doesn't. Well, but anyhow, we got ourselves some new apparel. Yes, thank you. I'm going to go into the changing What's room. What's this, then? I'm just going to change into my new, you know, the stuff that I... Is there some place where I can get some privacy? Maybe around here? Jeez, people. Okay, now let's see. Let's first wear the new pants. Oh, they look good, don't they? Let's zoom in a bit. Yeah, too bad I can't turn myself around in this screen. Um, the belt. Oh, sorry. I didn't want to do this. 
and then expensive shit. No, this doesn't look good. No, no, no. But this robe looks excellent. And the shoes. Oh, look at his muscles. Okay, now let's sell the old. Out, out with the old. Since we already have the new. Let us sell all of these. That didn't prove to be so nice. Let's try this one then. What's this about? Going to going to change clothes just here. Yeah, this looks way better under our robe. There we go. So from a game mechanics perspective, um, we can enchant these. And we can, as far as I remember, we can enchant the expensive ones better. Mm -hmm. Weapons, I'm not interested in them. Let's continue to head over to Belmora. There we go. Yeah, again, I need to get used to this, to talking about stuff. I need to figure out topics, especially in English. In German, it's way easier. So I could tell a story that I told in a German Let's Play already. It is about um, the drafting. So when I was turning 18, which is leg legal age in Germany, um, there has been the rule that everyone who turned 18 and left school, or as soon as they left school after turning 18, they had to undergo a drafting process, which is kind of different than what I heard here from the US. So basically you go there, you are checked um, what you can what you can do, and then you have to do a mandatory, mandatory mil military service which I think they can't send you into battle during that, but I'm not sure. So basically it's, um, and also if it is battle, it's only de this, the defense force. We only have a defense force. So what they um, what they can make you do, oh, there's, there's someone there, one second. Hello there, fellow, fellow the good situated. You, yes, the day greets me just fine. Uh, Begging your pardon, have you seen a bandit nearby? I must find him. A bandit? Yes, I was just walking along here, minding my own business. Suddenly, a bandit jumped at me from behind. He was a dark elf, a strong, dashing dark elf. He didn't arm, harm me in any way, although he did take my jewels. He was quite gentle, and he talked to me for what seemed like forever. Well, that's kind of an odd bandit. Well... Uh, how? What about the jewels? How, what do they look like? Uh, what's that? Oh, uh, never mind the jewels. I just want to find the bandit again. He was charming and funny, and I simply must see him again. His name? Uh, Nellas. Nellas Onmar. A name that will stay on my lips for eternity. Perhaps you can find him for me? Please, I cannot live without knowing if he could ever love me. I have nothing to offer for you in return, but... Could you not help me for the sake of love? Oh, I will try and find this man, if only for love's sake. You'll try? Oh, thank you so much. I'm sure you'll be able to find him. He mentioned something about having to head north, so I imagine he, f he might be found in Pelagiad. Please, if you find him, give him this glove for me, as a token of my glove. I'm certain he'll find me again. Well... So much for heading to Belmora. Let's real quick see if we can find that bandit. I think I read that name already. Nellis Onmar. Nellis Onmar. I think he was in that um, in that tavern. Anywho, as I was saying, um, so when you turned 18, so the, all of this doesn't exist anymore. So there is no mandatory military service anymore in Germany. When you turned 18 and you left school. 
then you had to undergo this process where they the doctors check you and they check what kind of ser services you can do like and basically they do basic military training that's what you have to do and um i personally had very bad thoughts about the military so this is one thing which is greatly different to um to the us for example where the military is very much honored over here um, due to movies that I saw, which are very critical about the military when I was very young, and I admit these, I shouldn't have seen these movies, I'm pretty sure they weren't for my age back then. So, um, I was very, very afraid to go to the military. Um, and there was this thing that you can do, you can say, I refuse to go into military service, I'm going to do civil service, I'm going to translate it with that term, I'm going to do civil, civic or civil service instead. So what you do is you go into hospitals and help out there for a year. And when you want to do that, you have to. Well, let me real quick interrupt. Oh, that. Hurry this up, will you? There he is. Pleased to meet you, stranger. You planning to be in Pelagia long? Then you'll want to know what the services are. Um, actually, no, I'm actually looking for you, Nellis Onmar. I'm Nellis. What do you want? Well, you see, I met this lady outside of town, and she gave me her glove. She was saying something about eternal love and something like that. Yes, what? How odd. She was a lovely young woman, but what would she want with a rogue like me? She's beautiful, though, and seemed sweet. For the first time in my life, I actually felt a little remorse for robbing someone. I should see her again. Here, take this. Tell her you have a note from Nellis. I must see her again. I won't forget this, friend. Note from Nellis? Yes, just tell her you have a note from Nellis. I, sh I think she'll be happy with it. Quickly well, out there. Head outside. And yes, I'm going to read the note, and I'm going to read out the note also. So let's see. There he is. There it is. Mori, truly I was enchanted with you from the moment I saw you. I beg for your forgiveness for my past transgressions. While I cannot imagine what a woman of your beauty and breeding would see in a rogue such as me, I thank the gods that you have sent for me. I will come to you as soon as I can. Until then, yours, Nellos. That's kind of sweet. Even though he is a rogue and a robber, I actually hope that they will find together and that they will be happy together. So as I was as I was saying, um, I planned to do this civic service thing, which means um, I had to write a letter. Like after this drafting process, I had to like, write a letter of refusal and um, outline the reasons why I wanted to refuse. So you get this reply which says, um, okay, you are drafted for, for this and that and that, and maybe drafting is the wrong word. I don't know the correct word in English here. And um, it could also be that you're in so bad health condition that they say you're not fit to do anything. You don't need to come and you don't need to refuse also. So I got this letter and um, I'm, I'm, I'm having asthma, so I'm suffering from asthma. And uh, at this, um, when, they, when they looked at me, they asked, shouldn't she be here somewhere? When they looked at me, they also asked me if I'm taking any medicine. I said, yes, I'm taking medicine for my asthma. And then it basically didn't need to undergo the whole process anymore. I skipped the whole part where, the whole physical examination part, where, they, where you go into the cardio and all that stuff, where they check where you need to go, where you can go, like can you go on long hikes or stuff like that. And I got the reply, just want to finish that story. I got the reply and I honestly, I was completely unable to decipher what they drafted me for. If they said, well, you're, you're so bad, your health is so bad, you don't need to go to the service. So I sent the letter of refusal just to be on the safe side so I don't have to go to military. And oh, look at that, how beautiful we are. So I didn't have to go to the military. And they sent me back a letter saying, oh, um, we actually had to reject your ref refusal. So, so you, 
you don't just send the refusal, they have to accept this. So they have to accept your reasons. So I was really afraid that they didn't accept this. And they sent me a letter saying they it rejected my, re my refusal. And I was, oh no, it means I have to go there. And then they said, because you can't refuse because you weren't drafted. Your health is so bad you weren't just weren't drafted. I was so relieved <laughs> in that moment. I think it's kind of weird to hear that and good um, wishes to you when you're in the U.S. I must find that bandit. I believe he's in Belagiat. Perhaps he'll come back to find me, though. Well, you know, I've got this note from him. He gave you a letter to give to me? Wonderful. Thank you so. I knew that he cared. You know, you didn't have to do all this for me, and I really appreciate it. You're clearly a wonderful person. You should visit my friend, Amuset Brex, and tell her room. She's a wonderful person too, and I think the two of you would get along famously. Oh, oh, I think she's going to couple us. You know, I'm, I'm more interested in people of my own, you know? Any thanks for the offer. I'm definitely going to talk to her. And I say, before we head over to Bomora, I'm going to stop the episode here, let the dice take over, and tell you how many days you have to wait until you see me head on to Bulmora. Bye bye!